Well, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are now reacting to the girl group. Ladies and well. gentlemen. <laughs> Thank single. you for not assuming. <laughs> <laughs> You're reacting to Espa's pre-release single titled Welcome to My World off of their 2023 My World album. This album takes place in the real world. This is a group that has a ton yeah. of... <laughs> yeah, they have several different... <laughs> the real <laughs> world? The fuck places up. of existence. Oh they have God. the Kwangya, they have the flat, and they have the real world. Fans theorize that this is welcoming Nivis back, not Nivis. Um, actually, it's pronounced as Nivis or in Korean. Back to the real Who? world where she only existed in the flat. She's trying to get through her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Do you guys remember who Nivis is? She's like the AI or something, like the queen. I don't know. She's a, she's computer, like in her. She's like motherboard. Is it her cyber, or is it she? Is that one of the member? No, Nivis is like a separate entity. There's the eyes for each member, but mm. Nivis is the fifth person that helps their them and their eyes out in the battle. So she she's able to open portals so people can go th between different locations. Oh, is she a novice? <laughs> no. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, she's the one who like saved the entire world when the. <laughs> Uh, she's kind of like OP. So she's like a pro. <laughs> yeah, she's a pro. She's the opposite of what all her right, name is. All right. The song is composed by Cutfather Ubiz, Celine Svanback, and Patricia Helander. Ready? Three, two, one. Is this Navis? It's giving Navis. Kind of creepy. What? <laughs> Little cricket sample. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh. Whoa. I like the guitar stuff. Ooh. This feels a lot more intimate than most of their other songs. This is a good chord progression. It's a new I hope this builds up to something. Where are they? Funyuns. <laughs> Just sponsored by Funyuns. <laughs> It's kind of like gym class heroes where they mix alternative rock and hip hop. <laughs> I like the percussion added to create flow and the rhythmic guitar. I like that a lot. Wow. I love transposing major thirds down by a major, or sorry, major chords down by a major third. Like a B major to a G major, sounds so cool. It feels maybe a little bit Phrygian because of the, the B major chord, yeah. I like that color. So cool. See, that's where the, ma the major minor third is a little sus. Why do I feel like... Not, not like sus, but sus. Help me. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> that was a good chill. I like that lead in. It's like, it could be a ballad, but it's not a ballad. Mm. Ooh, that was close. Heart mm. plus or something? Interesting. Would have been better with a real orchestra, but it's still pretty cool. It's, it's, it's actually, it wouldn't have been better with a real orchestra. 
because this is supposed to be metallic and kind of futuristic. Futuristic. So, or futuristic. It's pretty cool. Oh. oh. That's her. Oh my god. She like an AI person. Noob Master 69. Noob Master 69. Yeah. Hey, bitch. Ah. Welcome to Earth. Wait, did she sing? Maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. That was sick. That was a really cool song. Yeah. It was cinematic. Very epic in scale. There. Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. It, it, it's 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 all. Phrygian? No, it's like a double. I don't know what that is. It's it's like double. Uh, harmon no, harmonic. It's like what Kenny Garrett uses. Yeah, I was time. just thinking yeah. that. I should play that. Yeah, it's like if you use that scale over over their chords, then it's gonna work perfect. Like it, it all works. Wow. I didn't know that scale existed. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of color or vibe does this sort of mode? It's very mysterious. It's mysterious. It, it's it, a mysterious it, mode. Well, it, 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 it kind of... <laughs> it, oh, the adjectives. <laughs> it kind of imbues it with a lot of ambiguity, which kind of is like... I don't know, it's really appropriate for the tone they're trying to get because like they're bringing novice into their world, right? And there's kind of a, a moral question where is it right to kind of bring someone Yeah, I just feel like very dystopian. Yeah. Like, oh, we're just trying to trip into the woods and nothing, you know, we're just girls on a trip. And we're going to have funions. fun and eat some funions. <laughs> and then you're like, ooh, but there's a squiggly thing in the sky. And you're like, <laughs> well, it's cool. What it does is it uses the... Because it seems that there's like kind of E minor stuff going on, so it just uses the... In E minor, using a major fifth of just... So it kind of feels weird going from... So this... In this makes sense. And then going back into like a E minor, A, a minor, C major kind of area, but the having the fifth um, gives you that D sharp, which is the seventh to E. So that's why it sounds. So that's why it sounds a little bit more um, juicy. And there's a little quality in there that's a bit more futuristic and, and more mechanical. And the way that they do it with like the with the hi-hats and the sub bass and the very human like kind of sounds but also hauntingly metallic this this whole just using a major f like like b major going to like an e minor it just sounds like two different worlds and so to me it's like that melody shows the beginning of that melody to the resolution of it is like this new person coming in like the it's kind of like Whoa, major, really weird world, but we're kind of in this minor zone. And then, and then it kind of ends in like the minor, E minor, I should see, A minor area. I don't know what it does. So I think that that melody encompasses the kind of, what's her name? Novice. Kind of coming back because it's an uncomfortable and interesting future sounding harmony. So it's cool. Yeah. It's prophesizing the character coming in through a major and minor mixture. I was honestly just caught up in the orchestration. The orchestration was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Like how everything kind of kept getting built up. Yeah, there's the a lot end. of like orchestral instruments, harp, glissing, triangle, strings on top of um, electric guitar, which was really interesting. The use of the guitar was fantastic. I, the, yeah, I think that the was guitar was really kind great. of the star of the show. Yeah, cause like it started off and it gave it this really intimate kind of vibe, wholesome yeah. energy and then they, added them the really lush just like chords chords on top of and then just like adding the strings with that yeah because the first time like the strings came in really prominently i was like confused i was like oh that sounded so odd and it was because like it was it was layered on top of like the electric guitar but 
like in a, you had a really interesting it, it was it was very like, interesting yeah, an electric guitar patch yeah I, it, it was like odd that. i don't i like i liked it i was just like whoa that was, that was cool yeah i really like it, it yeah the electric guitar really like enhanced the timbre of a lot of things like yeah uh, I remember there was one spot where it like doubled the upper vocal harmony mm -hmm. and it gave this really eerie kind of feeling, yeah. The triangle there. Oh my god. Wind chimes. With the wind chimes. Dude, oh my god. The orchestration is so great. It is very like mystical too. I mean, especially at the end because of like the wind chimes and the triangle and the harp and you know, like as she's coming into the world, it feels like Supernatural, mm -hmm. and they they really added yep. something. They leaned into that with aesthetic the, with the orchestration really effectively. Yeah, it was really cool. It was like telling a story. It's a good song. Yeah, it's a really good song. Kind of like the strings actually. Yeah, I like that the, whole. Yeah, the singing parts are pretty cool. It was like really sweeping, really dramatic. It was cool. I didn't like the kick drum, but like basically everything else about like the sonics, I liked. Yeah, I wasn't opposed to the kick drum. It was, it, it was too different repetitive. and kind of yeah. after a while. Yeah, it's like when it's that fair. unique of a sound, you just like overuse it really fast. Yeah, what initially drew it, you to it again? It's just weird. It's mm -hmm. just very stereo and very, I don't know, I can't quite place what is going on there. A couple layers to it, I think. Mm -hmm. And there's something kind of like roomy sounding and kind of like high mids, mids. I don't know, it's just very, like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It sounded like a mic sample, but then just like the top end of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. None of the actual kick, because there's an actual right. kick. Right, there like was an the actual middle. kick, but that was like a layer. I don't know, could have been like a mic on like the beater of a kick drum or something like that. I don't know, and then just like super process. Mm -hmm. I, total guess, you know, it probably isn't that at all, but I don't know. This yeah, is weird. It's just the splice sound. <laughs> weird sound, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I just, I really like the chords in the beginning. Why? Can you, can you play a B major chord? A nice and happy B major chord. And then to a G major chord. Play with a G in the bass, so it's nice. And then E flat major. Uh, isn't that so interesting? Isn't that so cool? I just think that major chords going down by, by major thirds sound really, really interesting. And then, list, list loved that stuff. True, true, yes. true, true. And then when it went to C, it was like, it was nice. And then to go from more major chords, D to C, then to B minor, B major, like that was, that was crazy. Well, there's also C major, but then with the, yeah, with the, the D sharp. There was a part in the bridge where yeah, the D sharp that, was that like. Was, that was the exception, I feel like. <laughs> Which sus were you talking about, Owen? No, it was when the, it was when the melody um, was singing the D sharp yeah, over the sus. C major chord. It's not really sus. I mean, let's say you're saying it's an augmented second suspended. Then that's... So it's like suspicious. Oh, no, I was saying it was sus. It was no, it suspicious. was suspended, yeah. Okay. That's my favorite part. Well, everything seems sweet and searching and it does sound like something new is opening up and, and seeing the eyes through like a new lens. But harmonically, there, there's pretty much only major chords. So when we hit that moment. It's kind of modal mixture, which is different. <laughs> it's like if they went this city so pity with your lights on then it could have been justified you could have pulled it off but they went this city so pity with your lights on and then it's just like and then it's just like weird auto-tune flexing like she didn't actually sing a note it was just like bleh, bleh, like uh -huh. auto-tune blah people are theorizing that that might be novice because this label has inter uh, has hinted that this ai character is going to have a solo release like a solo <laughs> so an ai wrote that and it's like that's like ai voice people are theorizing it's probably like, like, AI, I don't, like ai like i don't really think it's song is, right but it maybe it could be it just sounds bad <laughs> i don't really know if that just yeah. might be like some auto tune normal yeah it voice. could just be You know what? You know, I, I hear it. <laughs> I think it. I I think it's that sounds like an auto. That. that sounds like a generated voice. It sounds very robotic. 
That makes sense. I was wondering about this section because it was like weirdly repetitive and it like didn't go anywhere and it was like, are they, what, what's happening? But it makes sense if you, it's like a call and response between like the band and like this AI thing. Mm hmm yeah. That does make more sense. Mm -hmm. I think it's that. It definitely has kind of like a it's got little like bit the, of a like vocaloid texture. You know, it's like it sounds like it's that type of thing, auto generated mm -hmm. voice. I don't I don't think like the AI wrote the, I don't that. think the AI wrote the melody. No. Yeah. But I think they But they, they probably got gave, like a speech to a, voice yeah, thing. I think that's or a text to voice. And then just repitched it. But also, if they were gonna repitch, like, why would they repitch it to something that sounds so bad? <laughs> Some reactors think that that part is just musically wrong. That? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's beautiful. That's like yeah, one of I my like favorite part. part of the song. Yeah. It was Jorian Will who thought it was off. Really? Really? I want to hear it again. I mean. Oh. No, it's 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 absolutely correct. Let's fight them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, right? Yeah. Wow. Especially like the thing right after, like they, they pick G, that note, they, it, it, it totally makes sense. It's like... And then, well, technically that note is also wrong, but because it's, it's all from that scale, so everything makes Damn, sense. Damn, let's get it! Yeah. It's cool, like... Basically, like the main melody, just all half, just literally half, half step. Like mm -hmm. they do so much with just that one yeah. that half step. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. that was impressive. I was thinking, yeah. and that's true. Like with this skill too, it's just yeah. half step. Do, 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 do. Yeah, because because major seven sharp nine is like common in jazz too. This I love this sound. It's a beautiful sound. <laughs> Yeah, for me, it's, it's so like haunting. True. Yeah, it's like a, which matches this. Yeah, I it's mm. it's like dark and bright at the same time. Yeah, facts. Because there's Wait. major chord and there's minor chord. That's inside. exactly what this thing is. Yeah. that's cool. So that's why wow. I think that that's six, like a brilliant six, six, moment. Six but it's kind of like eerie, and then also like very bright, like the mm -hmm. visuals too. Because the chords. Yeah. Chord progression, like although they're all major, but the chord progression is actually really dark. Mm. It's like all like minor six and then I mean, flat two. It's like really dark progression, but the, all for everything is major chords. <laughs> I-I I have this. You want? You want to? Like a farewell. Oh, like we can do that at the end. Well, that's all, everyone. Stay noited, my friends. Great. <laughs> Someone out there will get that.